what is up everybody welcome back to the channel and today we're going to go pretty freaking old school i'm sure i mean this video was colorized this is the nicholas brothers a uh, tap dance scene from the movie stormy weather from 1943 cab calloway and his orchestra performing jump and jive this video was sponsored by ken s thank you so much jumping live jumping jive with cab calloway and the nicholas brothers uh ken also bro sir whoever whatever uh you uh you sponsored technically this video six freaking months ago and finally destiny shine upon us for us to finally check this out so one of my favorite things about learning and experiencing a lot of this old school stuff was just back in the day there weren't things like auto-tune and ai making a lot of this music it was just genius so genius that a lot of like modern hip hop today and whatnot will sample this old school stuff because they, they were fantastic. And so experiencing the old school kind of gives me like a sense of uh, gives me a sense of nostalgia for a time I didn't really live through. But the best part about my generation is that we now have access to all this stuff so we can enjoy it. So thank you, Ken. Don't know what to expect out of this. Okay, we're going to have some tap dancing, some good music. Uh, let's check it out. Thank you guys so much for clicking and being here. If you want to find other ways to help support the channel, check the description down below. Okay, let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Now, can't you hear those hep cats call? Come on, boys, let's have a ball. The jim jam jump it, the jump it jive makes you dig your jive on the mellow side. Hep, hep. Hep, hep. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. The jim jam jump it, the silent jive makes you nine foot tall when you're four foot five. Hep, hep. Hep, hep. Okay. See what I'm talking about? The kids nowadays would say that this song slaps. I think that's what they would say. Okay, so that's that's Cab uh, Calloway. Dude, this old school jazz, bro. So fun. Just want to grab my wife and dance with her to this. Like, he was an American jazz singer and band leader. He was associated with the Cotton Club in Harlem. Hey, dude, I used to live in Harlem. Cool. His niche of mixing jazz and vaudeville, don't even know what this is, won him acclaim during a career that spanned over 65 years. Homie was born in 1907 in Rochester. Wow. Vaudeville is a theatrical genre of variety entertainment born in France at the end of the 19th century. France and jazz, eh? A vaudeville was originally a comedy without psychological or moral intentions based on a comical situation. A dramatic composition of live poetry interspersed with songs or ballets. Okay, so... See, he's like spitting, he's like spitting like hip hop lines right now. Feel like these boys are about to freaking crush it. Let's see what happens. Jeez. Homies can move. Oh, wow. Never thought I'd say this, but tap dancing is gangster is all gangster is all freaking get out, bro. Dude, I just can't imagine like imagine putting on a suit, going to the movie theater because people used to do that. Kind of wish we did something like that, but actually, never mind. Going to the movie theater, in my Crocs feels freaking fantastic. So scratch that. But imagine going to the theater in your three piece suit, sitting down and experiencing this. I that must have felt amazing. One of my favorite things is when people comment down below who actually experienced some of the things we've checked out. Like my top performing video is when we checked out Queen's performance of, of uh, in Live Aid. 
I love reading through the comments of people who were there. So if you experienced this like as a kid or something, like what was it like? That's what I wanna know. This technology also to colorize this is amazing. I didn't know you could make that effect with a trombone with just your hand. Oh! Jeez! What the frick, dude? Ah, that one hurt me. Let's run that back. Ah, yeah. Dude, this is so cool, bro. I'm having such a good time. Yeah! Yeah! Gosh, dude, come on, man. <laughs> so I'm also guessing this was taken in one shot. Look at homies still smiling like they haven't just been freaking doing these insane dance moves for like three minutes. What? Jeez, dude. That was freaking awesome, man. Okay. Everybody dance. Okay, so one of my favorite things in this channel is when I get the chills, man. Oftentimes, I get the chills because of something's beautiful. I got the chills with how cool that was. My legs have goosebumps, it's weird. So we got soldiers, all, all these folks go, heading out World War II? Okay, so those are okay. That's cool. Okay. Buy yours in this team for victory. US war bonds and stamps. Wow. An excerpt from a movie Stormy Weather. Whoa! Another thing I feel a sense of nostalgia for. I feel like if I were to go, if I were to go out to go to the club, I just be, I, I just see people twerking and grinding and whatnot. The class in that form of dancing. I wish we would make that cool again, because it requires so much skill. It's so fun and it's uh, so much like less sexual. I've decided, bro. I'm taking my wife on a dance date. We're gonna go dance, dude. Oh, that song fired me up. That was so cool. Oftentimes when I do these vid uh, these videos, the demographics of those watching are, you tend to be slightly older. So let me ask you, I wanna, I wanna ask for some of your wisdom here. What advice would you have for someone like me, younger, who is feeling this sense of nostalgia for a time I never even, <laughs> I, I never experienced?
What would you say would be the best remedy to that? I'm excited to find out. Ken, thank you so much for that suggestion. Thank you, viewers, for clicking on this and hanging out with me. It means the world. It's honestly the, one of the most supportive things we can do, just getting views, likes, subscribes. So thank you. If you would, please consider uh, helping out in those ways. And also in the description down below, you can find uh, ways to, to tip and, and help out the channel so we can keep the lights on. You can find ways to uh you can find some of our affiliate links oh life is amazing and a life that is enriched by magnificent art like this that's life isn't worth living if you're not experiencing things like this gosh that was so much fun much love